You're not my mom. I think I still say that when I get mad. Right? I know. You're not my mom. I'm 43. You're not my mom. Court, let's go get a tattoo. Yeah. No, I know you're not going to get one, but I want to get one. No, I want to go over my tattoo that I originally got with you. <gasps> let's go get another one. I want to go over it. So I need to fix it because it got cut in half during my surgery. Okay. So now it's a half tattoo. A half these? Good morning. Okay. I went over the original one that we had gotten. What was the original was one? The sun with like a psychedelic swirl. In the oh my god! Like what were, what were we thinking? It's like I got shot the groin. Would I? Did I get a tattoo that trip, or was it just no, you? It was me. Why was I doing that? Good I morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh my god! I look like um, I should be on the Big Bang Theory. Good morning. My sweet friend Courtney took me, I'm sweating now. You're not my, oh, now everyone's writing, you're not my mom, so funny. Well, I was just saying how I, I was talking to Courtney's son, who's probably like, dude, you're not my mom. Cause you know how that's like a thing we always say? I even say that now. Good morning from exit 135. Well, good morning from exit eight off the turnpike. Take on me. Good morning. Good morning, you have lovely hair. Thank you. Yeah, so good morning from New Jersey. I think you can all figure out right now by the glow on my face and the fact that I slept past, I don't know, six, that I am in New Jersey with no dog and no kids and it is glorious. Good morning, Jamie and Courtney. Yes, I am with Courtney. She's, um as always, organizing and cleaning her kitchen. Um, but anyway, so we are here together and one thing that we, oh, that's fine. They all have homes and kitchens and kids and lives. It's, it's um, One thing that Courtney and I did, buenos dias y feliz sábado. Um, we, so we have today, we have a whole Sunday together. Never happens, never happens. So we're gonna go out and buy new jeans for Courtney because she is this, literally this big. It's essentially gonna be like, oh. oh my God, I think Foreman's here. I'm so excited, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my God, I just wanna cry. Guys, it's my favorite teacher in my whole life and he came to see me and how lucky I am. He's back there. Form, just so you know, the camera's right here. If you don't want to be on it, you can go that way. Okay, I'm Dorm. Hi! I'm so excited. Okay, so now I have to make this faster. Let us meet him. No, I can't put people on camera that don't want to be on camera. It's little Courtney. Um, JC. That was my drama teacher. He's my favorite teacher of my whole life. See? You too can keep a relationship with your Courtney's daughter's like. He actually does. That's good. All right, let me go fast because I do have something to say and then I need to visit because I'm so excited that he's here. Okay. You want bacon? So a a young girl in Birmingham that I have a relationship with because she may or may not babysit my kids from time to time was in a relationship with, I can't talk, was in a relationship with a boy for an extended period of time. So there was an incident, things happened, they had to separate. So she breaks up, they break up, whatever, and they go like a month without talking and then they run into each other or something happens and she backslides. She backslides, they go out, things happen, right? And I was thinking about how many times in my life I was trying to grow through something, whether that was ending a relationship or leaving a one job and going to another job or whatever the case may be. And I started to backslide. I started to backslide back to old habits, back to old behaviors, back to things that felt comfortable. And then you feel like, fuck, all that growth, 
all the work I put in for the last month, all the stuff that I have been doing, everybody's supporting me, everybody's cheering me on, and look what I did. I backslid, and now I'm back in bed with him, or I'm back helping this person do this, or I lent him money again, or I did whatever, and you feel like <clears throat> you messed it all up. Let me tell you something, growth is not constant. Everybody backslides. Everybody goes back on their diet, everybody goes back to somebody they used to sleep with. Everybody has backslides. It's part of growth. If somebody tells you that they make a choice and they grow through it and they literally just stick with it and they never look back, you might want to peel their skin back because I'm guessing they're Arnold Schwarzenegger and this is the Terminator. Because I don't really know any like humans who grow through certain situations and don't backslide. I really don't. And we put so much pressure on ourselves to grow through something. And when we backslide, we feel so guilty and so bad about ourselves. And how many times have you woken up in the bed of someone and gone, oh, this is why I broke up with you. This is why I stopped sleeping with you. And then there you are and it's okay. You take a deep breath, take a deep breath. And you say, this is okay. Growth doesn't have to be constant. I'm allowed to backslide. I'm allowed to make mistakes. It's okay. It doesn't mean I'm not still growing. It doesn't mean I'm not committed. It doesn't mean I'm not invested. It simply means I took a step back. Now I'm going to take two steps forward. Perfectly fine. Then you become Paula Abdul. I took two steps forward. I take two steps back. So I just want to say that to you and let you off the hook. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're trying to grow through, whatever you're trying to get through or eliminate or leave, please understand be gentle with yourself. Everybody backslides. It's part of the growth process. I do it all the time. I say I'm doing A and I get halfway to A and I slide back to Z. And then I got to climb my way up the alphabet again. But I keep going. Usually, every once in a while, I'm like, you know what? This might be too hard. I'm not going to grow through this. I'm just going to circumvent. Sometimes I'm so powerful, I just literally manifest or create a whole new situation so that I don't even have to put the last one to bed because I just emotionally can't deal with it. Can't grow through everything, people. Sometimes you just have to pretend it's not there. But Jamie, isn't that ghosting? You know what? It's not October anymore, people. It's November, okay? No. We call it thanks fucking God we got away from that. That's what we call it in November. All right, I love you guys very much. I want you to have an amazing Sunday. Some of us are not working tomorrow, and by some of us, I mean me and Courtney. <laughs> we are doing a thing. We're doing a thing. We never get a Sunday. We definitely never get a Monday. No, no kids? What is this, 1993? Might be. Um, also, congratulations to LSU yesterday. That was a great game. You guys played a great game. I'm saying that. I'm assuming you did because you won. I didn't watch the game. But from what I heard, it was a nail biter. So congratulations to LSU. Go Tigers. I'm an Auburn fan. Um, I love you guys so much. If you see me in Freehold, please say hi. We're going to go to the mall today because we're going to buy Courtney jeans. I love you guys so much. Have a great, ooh, I went to Towson. That was my college. Have a great, great day.